let us take the next question on equilibrium that is question number three here we have four forces that is f1 is equal to 100 newton f2 is equal to 200 newton f3 is equal to t newton f4 is equal to p newton next the inclination of all the forces are given f for f1 it is theta 1 is equal to 0 degree for f2 theta 2 is equal to 120 degree for f3 theta 3 is equal to 240 degree and for f4 theta 4 is equal to 330 degree next determine the value of t and p if the system is in equilibrium so we have to find out what is t and p if system is in equilibrium now let us try to solve this question i'll write the solution now since resultant is zero okay and how why resultant is zero because the system is in equilibrium so i'll say that first of all since the forces and their angles are given let us try to draw the diagram for this here we have 100 newton at 0 degree so it is 100 newton and since all the forces are away i am showing the arrow away from the center next 200 newton is at 120 degree this much is 90 so the remaining is 120 degree i will mark it here this is f2 which is 200 newton this total angle is 120 degree then f3 it is t newton acting at 240 degree here this straight line from plus x to minus x that is 180 degree in that if I add 60, that becomes 240 degree and here I have force T. Next, I have force P. It is at 330 degree. From plus X to minus X, it is 180. Then minus X to minus Y, it is 90. So I have 180 plus 90, which is 270 up to here. In 270, I have to add 60 to get 330 degree and that is force p so this is the diagram which is provided to us now in this diagram if we see there are number of forces what i will do just pay attention i will simplify it again that the diagram which is given here we have 100 newton force along positive x then 200 newton is inclined at 120 with horizontal so with vertical this much angle is 30 degree because this is 90 so here i have at 30 degree with vertical 200 newton force next force t is inclined at 60 with horizontal force p is inclined at 60 with vertical now if i look into this diagram all the forces are given next their inclinations are provided so what we have to do here make all the inclined forces to be converted into their horizontal and vertical components if i see 100 newton is purely horizontal 200 newton is inclined at 30 degree with vertical so i will write down its horizontal component becomes 200 sin 30 vertical component 200 
cos 30 then T is inclined at 60 with horizontal so horizontal component will be T cos 60 degree vertical component will be T sin 60 degree if I see force P it is inclined at 60 degree with vertical so horizontal component will be P sin 60 degree and vertical will be P cos 60 degree so if I see in this diagram I have resolved all the forces so I can easily get the value of T and P by using the conditions of equilibrium I'll say that using conditions of equilibrium the first condition is summation of fx is equal to 0 where all rightward forces are to be taken as positive and all leftward forces are to be taken as negative Hence, I will be having 100 Newton is positive, P sin 60 is positive, two hundred sin 30 is negative, T cos 60 is negative, and that should be made equal to 0. Then, after this, if I simplify it, I will be getting this as therefore minus T cos 60 plus I will be having this as plus P sin 60. If I look at this value minus 200 sin 30 this will be minus 100 so plus 100 minus 100 gets cancelled so I am only left with these much terms next therefore this value I would be getting this as minus 0 0.5 T plus 0 0.87 P I'll keep this as my equation number one this much I get by summation of fx now i will say that using the second condition of equilibrium that is summation of fy is equal to zero i'll use the second condition of equilibrium that is summation of fy is equal to zero where i will take all upward forces positive and all downward forces negative therefore 200 cos 30 that is positive because it is upward T sin 60 is negative because it is downward P cos 60 is negative because it is downward that's equal to 0 because it is the condition of equilibrium now hence I will be getting this as 200 cos 30 is 173.21 then sin 60 is 0 0.87 times of t minus p cos 60 that comes out to be minus 0 0.5 times of p is equal to 0 so what I will do I will shift see here minus 0 0.87 8.7t minus 0.5p I will shift my 173.21 onto the other side so it is minus 173.21 if I remove negative sign throughout this will be 0.87t plus 0.5p and that's equal to 173.21 this will be my equation 2 so if I check from equation number 1 I have minus 0.5t plus 0.87p from equation 2 I have 0.87t plus 0.5 into p is equal to 173.21 
So if I solve equations 1 and 2 simultaneously, solving equations 1 and 2 simultaneously, I will be getting my answer of T is equal to 149.79 Newton and P is equal to 85.74 Newton. So if I look into this question, there were two things asked first to calculate the value of unknown force T and then the unknown force P. Force T it is 149.79 Newton. Force P it is 85.74 Newton. 